Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and say with me, it's backgammon time! <laughs> yes, it is that time in the month where I play my TBR game, Bookgammon, which is based off the board game Backgammon, to help me pick my upcoming TBR for the new month. Today we will be playing for June, so let me put her down because you know she gets noisy! <laughs> Okay, so let's kick it off with the housekeeping. Now, normally at this point, I talk about my priority picks, which are the books that I did not get to in the current month, um, and they now become priority picks for the next month. I abandoned my TBR. <laughs> Completely abandoned it uh, about halfway through the month. I just did not fancy reading any of those books. Um, mainly because... I I had a lot of thrillers and I had a lot of non-fiction on my TBR and you know what I like to keep that to like one maybe two a month of one one of each you know kind of in each um thing so yeah I um, I I abandoned it so you know no priority picks for this month but I will talk about my bomb book and star book. So the bomb book for this month is going to be an old bomb book that I had previously, and that is gonna be Shadow March by Tad Williams. I did have this as my bomb book previously, and I did start it, so I didn't get the punishment for not starting my bomb book. However, as you can see, I didn't finish it. Um, I tried, I tried to continue it, but I got downloaded downloaded not a computer I, I got bogged down with other books that I was trying to read as well and completely abandoned it so I'm gonna restart it again restart it again I'm gonna try and start it again and uh, that's if I land on the bomb book um, but uh, yeah so that is going to be my bomb book and then for my star book um, I am currently finishing off um, Little Thieves, so I thought for my star book, if I can get it, um, I will carry on to the sequel which has just been released, which is Painted Devils by Margaret Owen. Um, now Little Thieves is about a young girl who is given to death and fortune uh, when she's just four years old and she's raised by them as her godmothers. and she takes the place of the princess and is causing madness and mayhem <laughs> and then she gets caught by another like low god and um she's given a curse that she has to break before it kills her and um she has to give back what she's taken but she has to figure out what it is she has to give back um because she can't just give back what she's taken she has to give something else back and she's trying to figure it all out and i'm really enjoying the book i have not quite finished it yet but i still have a couple of days of the month left so i will definitely finish it by the end of may so hopefully fingers crossed if i get my star book i can move on to the sequel so those are my bomb book and star book for this month so let's get into gameplay and see what book Ammon has in store for me for you. Mm. Okay, so let's remind ourselves of the categories. Red is thriller, pink is contemporary, orange is classic, green is middle grade, yellow is graphic novel or manga, purple is non-fiction, and blue is fantasy and sci-fi. Okay, so let's place the bomb book first. So we have a random number generator, Space number 12, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. So we are right over here on the contemporary space. And for the star book, number 10, they're close to each other again. So we are on the ebook space. Okay, we have our cards here, so let's give them a shuffle. And let's roll our first roll. A five and a three. So 
one, two, three, so that is a classic, and one, two, three, four, five, a contemporary. So the contemporary prompt is a man's name in the title, and our classic prompt is a colour wheel pick. Oh, there's a prompt we haven't had before. So I will basically spin a colour wheel and then I need to find that colour on the front cover of a book. Now, these types of prompts, the colour wheel picks and things like that, they do not have to stick to the category. So I can pick any category book to fulfil that prompt. Roll number two. It's a double three, so we have to go backwards. So this one is going to go off the board. One, two, three. And I've just realised I'm using two different colours. Oh, that's new. So you know what that means. When a piece goes backwards off the board, it means a book buying ban. <laughs> which means I'm not allowed to buy any books this month. No, <laughs> that's not nice. Okay, so this has to go back three, one, two, three. So just the one prompt for a middle grade. And luckily for me, it is my shortest on TBR. Okay, so roll number three. A six and a four. Okay. Well, let's move this one six. One, two, three, four, five, six for a classic. And we're gonna we're gonna use the same colour this time. One, two, three, four for a fantasy. So the classic prompt is watch a movie. <laughs> So that is, of course, a non-reading prompt, so that's great for me. And the fantasy prompt is matches my top. Ooh. Okay, roll number four. Ooh, took its time. A two and a one. Okay. If we move this one, one, and this one, Two, we land on the same colour, so it's just the one prompt. So, and look what the prompt is. It is for a graphic novel or manga, and the prompt is to watch an anime. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> another non-reading prompt. It's going well for me this month, isn't it? <laughs> Roll number five, can we land on the star book? Or the dreaded bomb book. Three or a four. One, two, four. Well, this one will land one, two, three, four on the star book. And this one will land one, two, three on the fantasy. So we get the star book. Yay! So I win my star book for the month of June. Yay! Awesome. And we remove the bomb book off the board. So we still need a prompt for the fantasy. And the prompt for that is an adult fantasy. Yay! Okay, roll number six. A six and a three. Okay, I'm going to move this one three. One, two, three for a fantasy. And this one six. One, two, three, four, five, six for a thriller. So the thriller is a Goodreads Choice nominee. Um, I don't know if they're still up on Goodreads, um, but we'll have to have a look. And then the fantasy is best of three. So I'll have to remind myself again what I meant by this prompt. Um, but I'm guessing I've got to pick three books and read the first chapter and then decide which one I is the best of the three. Roll number seven. Six and a four. Um, 
I'm going to move this one six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can read an ebook. And then this one four. One, three, four. Oh, they've both landed on the ebook. Okay. Well, that was pretty simple. Uh, can you see that? Um, they've both landed on the ebook space. Okay, could this be the last roll, roll number eight? Well, it is for one of them. So we have a six and a two. So let's move one, two, one, two. And then the other one moves home with six, one, two, three, four. And she's home. So we just have a contemporary prompt. And it is a random number generator. So I am going to roll both dice. Um, so just in case I get a double and I have to go backwards. Nope, we do not get a double and we've got the minimum of three. So one, two, three, it is home and Bookgammon is over for another month. So wasn't that fun? Um, book buying ban for the month of June. Yay! I wonder if I'm going to stick to that. Probably not. Uh, so let's get straight into it. So our first roll gave us two prompts. The first one was um, a classic and that was a colour wheel pick. So I will insert some footage here where I spin a colour wheel and we'll see what colour we get. So this is my Whirligig colour wheel. Um, Ignore this bit. This is what I've called it. So uh, we're just going to spin it and see what we land on. Green. So a green cover. So we did get the colour green. So I am going to pick Monsters Born and Made by Tanvi Bawar. Uh, there we go. As you can see, we do have a lot of green on this cover. Um, I'm calling it green. I think it's green. It's kind of like a teal kind of green. Um, and there's like a bit of green here as well. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm counting it. Um, this one is, uh, you swim with monsters. These people cannot scare you. Uh, 16 year old Corral and her brother Emric risk their lives to capture the monstrous Maristags that live in the Black Seas around their island. They have to, or else their family will starve. Um, Anyway, it goes on to say it is an epic South Asian inspired fantasy debut that will leave you breathless until the very last page. So, yes, I am going to be reading this one. Our second prompt for roll number one was a contemporary and this one was a man's name in the title. So for that one, I'm going for a Mills and Boone. And this one is a chivalrous captain, rebel mistress. That does not have a man's name in the title. Just realised that didn't fit the bill, did it? Captain. I thought it had chivalrous captain so-and-so. That's not going to work. Right, so we'll put that one back. And we will go for Captain Corcoran's Hoyden Bride. There we go. Um, so we have a governess wanted. Miss Amy uh, Peters desperately craves respectability after her father scandalously auctions off her virginity. Yes, they used to do that. Uh, she flees London to become a governess in remote Yorkshire. Go Yorkshire. Uh, I'm from North Yorkshire. Uh, she's horrified to discover her new employer, the piratic, piratical Captain Corcoran. There we go. Uh, never sought a god, a governess. He wants a bride. Of course he does. Uh, Amy's unadorned charm makes Captain Corcoran forget the true reason he married her. And then he discovers the fortune of coins stitched into her bodice. What secrets does his new wife hide behind her? Oh, so innocent facade. So there we go, swapping that out because I didn't read the prompt properly. So we have uh, Captain Corcoran's Hoyden Bride by Anne Burroughs. There we go, I'll have to change my notes for that one. Okay, roll number two. We, one piece went off the board because we got a double three. So that took one piece backwards off the board. So there we go. Uh, 
no book buying in June. Um, but our other prompt, um, our one and only prompt for this role was a middle grade and that was shortest on TBR, which is great because that then means I don't know how to have a big TBR. So I'm going for this one. This one is Dragonstorm, Myra and Flame Teller, which is book four in the Dragonstorm series by one of my favourite middle grade authors, Alistair Chisholm. Yes, I love these books. And I've got to say that when I um, bought these this month, I bought book four and book five this month, um, my husband was like very intrigued. He loves dragons. He loves the colour blue. Um, so he was drawn to this book in particular. And I said to him, hey, this is a whole series. I can let you read book one if you want to. So I went and grabbed book one from off my shelves. I handed it to him. And within half an hour, he had read quite a few chapters in that book. So I've left it in his bedside table. So if he ever wants to go back to it and read some more, he can. Um, my husband does struggle with, uh, he doesn't struggle with reading. He has no problem with reading, but um, he doesn't like it when the uh, text is too, um, too close on the page um and um when it uses like very um if there's too much world building or if there's too much uh character building and stuff like that um he prefers graphic novels and things like that because there's not a lot of words and there's a lot of pictures to show what's going on um he has no problem reading he can read really well um it's just his he he can't focus on the page if the the writing's too close together so the fact that these are middle grade and the writing is all double spaced is great for him and you know what anything that gets him reading is a bonus for me i don't care what he reads just getting him reading is a bonus so um yeah so my husband has even started book one um but this is book four because i have read books one two and three already so I will be picking up book four, which is Myra and Flame Teller. This is a series about uh, children who are partnered with a dragon and uh, they each have like a lesson to learn um, throughout each of their own stories. But then there is a continuing story that flows through all of the books so far. We're building up to a bit of a mystery that we're probably going to solve eventually. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the series. For role number three, we our first role got is a fantasy, and that is a book that matches my top. I am wearing a bit of a grey top today, um, and it's got some like stuff on. Um, it's actually got a skull and flowers on and stuff. Very grungy. Uh, so I thought, <laughs> I thought, um, um. I'm really excited to to move on to book two of uh, The Dark Artifices. Seeing as I've just finished Lady Midnight and I really enjoyed it, um, I want to move on to book two in The Dark Artifices, which is Lord of Shadows. So as you can see, it's kind of greyish. So it kind of matches, can you see? Can you see? It kind of matches my shirt. And then the light bits kind of match that sort of bit. You see what I'm going with this? It's sort of like dark with a bit of light bits on, dark with a bit of light bit on. You see where I'm going? So I'm 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 classing it. Um, she is a chonker. She's uh, 699 pages, but I do listen to the audiobooks of all of Cassandra Clare Shadowhunter books because I do find her writing just a little bit sludge worthy, um, and I do struggle to get through it. Um, if I'm reading personally by myself. But I do like to listen to the audiobooks and I do find myself reading along with the audiobook as well because I am thoroughly enjoying, uh, well, I thoroughly enjoyed book one. So uh, I want to move on to book two. Uh, in the first book, we followed Emma Carstairs and Julian Blackthorn and uh, there was a bit of mystery and intrigue going on and um, some murders that they were trying to solve. Um, all leading back to um, the past, Emma's past. And um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So we're gonna be carrying on the story with this one. Uh, the second prompt for the role number three was um, a classic. 
and that was to watch a movie. Well, me and my husband have recently been spending more time uh, together in the evenings to watch a movie and things like that. We even grabbed some popcorn last night when we watched a movie. Um, so I'm sure that we, I will be able to um, complete that prompt pretty quickly. So um, yeah, that's that one. For roll number four, uh, we just landed on one uh, prompt and that was for a manga or graphic novel and the prompt for this one was also to watch something but this time I had to watch an anime. Um, I'm very happy to do that. I do have the Death Note animes um, on DVD which my husband bought for me a few years ago when I first got into Death Note. I didn't want to watch that until I'd read all of the Death Note volumes. I have now done that. So maybe I might have a Death Note anime watching day and um, yeah, I can watch it all happen again on screen and just enjoy Death Note all over again. It is one of my favourite animes that I've read so far. Um, I haven't read anything since then that compares to Death Note, but I haven't really read a lot let's let's say that um so yeah i will be doing that one so no reading prompt for that role um but on role number five we did get two prompts the first one of those was for a fantasy and the prompt was to read an adult fantasy so <laughs> i've been really getting into my smutty fantasy recently and I read for the first time in the month of May a, a reverse harem fantasy. But I don't know if it was fantasy, it was contemporary, a reverse harem smutty book. And I kind of really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so I was looking for some more like reverse harem books and I found this one. She's a chunker but she is three books in one. So there's book one, book two and book three in here. Um, so I will probably read all of them, let's be honest. Uh, so yeah, so we have book two and three in here. Um, this is... Uh, I'm not even telling you. Uh, Salinity Cove by Maya Nicole. Get the glare off the screen there for you. And this is not only a reverse harem, it's a mermaid reverse harem. Yeah! I'm so excited for this. Um, it says, they say oil and water don't mix. No one used to care about my name until the oil spill by my father's company changed everything. Jax, Morgan and Blake swim their way into the heart of every girl at Salinity Cove High, but not me. They want to destroy me, but I'll teach them they can't hold back the tide, because there's one thing that's for sure, they aren't who they appear to be, and neither am I. Mermaids, mermen. Oh my god, I'm so excited for it. Um, this is individually, individually, indie published um, by Maya Nicole, I do believe. Um... Uh, this book is currently available exclusively through Amazon. So, uh, yeah. Um, Salinity Cove is a reverse harem romance series. That means the main character will have a happily ever after with three or more men. There is bullying and situations that may make some readers uncomfortable. Recommended for readers 18 plus for adult content and language. So excited. <laughs> I'm going to be reading this. Um, I will probably read the whole thing. Uh, let's be honest. Um, it is only 541 pages, so, and it's smut. I get through smut really easily. Um, I, and I'm just so excited. Mermaid smut. Mermaid. Mermaid smut. So excited. Um, I'm, I'm delving into the world of, of, of reverse harems. I'd like to, like, try some, like, non-reverse harems. So just harem uh, smut. So if you know of any of those 
give us some suggestions in the uh just in the um comment section below the video but because I, i'm liking it i'm like it it kind of takes the smut that i enjoy and then raises it an extra level because like there's extra smut and it's like there's smut and then there's harem smut and it's like Whoa! and this one's got mermaids so it's like woohoo um so yeah um as you can tell i'm very excited about that one <laughs> And the next prompt we got for roll number five was our star book. So even better, I get to read Painted Devils by Margaret Owen, which is the sequel to Little Thieves, which I am currently reading right now, but should hopefully finish before the end of the month. And uh, yeah, I will be going into this. As I say, it's about a uh, young girl who takes the place of the princess and takes her identity kind of thing. And she's up to trouble and... Um, yeah i can't wait to read uh book two this has only just released just in the month of may so very very excited to get to it um because quite often i get my new books that i'm really really excited for and then they sit on my shelves for two or three years so yes so the next role was for role six and the first prompt was for fantasy best of three now i said in the the gameplay that I couldn't quite remember what I had thought to do for this prompt so what I've decided to do is I've chosen three fantasy books okay so we have my three fantasy books here and what I'm gonna do um, is I feel like do I want to throw it out to you guys or do I just want to read a chapter of each and then decide which one excites me the most you know what i'm gonna throw it out to you guys let me know which one you would like to see me read so the first choice you have to pick is vespertine by margaret rogerson i have read from margaret rogerson before i believe there was a fairy loot book that i read of hers once um let's see if it mentions it anywhere uh an Enchantment of Ravens, I read, and then Sorcery of Thorns. That was the one that came in Fairy Loop. I have read both of them. I preferred a Sorcery of Thorns um, over an Enchantment of Ravens. I was a little bit let down by Enchantment of Ravens. But her her stories are very, very simple, standalone type um fantasies. So this one says, uh, the dead of Laurel don't do not rest. Um, so it says, um, Artemisia is trained to be a grey sister, a nun who cleanses the bodies of the deceased so that their souls can pass on. Otherwise, they will rise as spirits with a ravenous hunger for the living. She would rather deal with the dead than the living, who trade whispers about her scarred hands and troubled past. Um, and obviously it goes on as she unravels a sinister mystery of saints, secrets and dark magic. Her bond with the revenant grows. And when a hidden evil begins to surface, she discovers that facing this enemy might require her to betray everything she has been taught to believe if the revenant doesn't betray her first. So it sounds a little bit like, um, the Sorcery of Thorns, but I'm quite happy to read that one if that one is chosen. The next one is All of Us Villains um, by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. I have read from Christine Lynn Herman before and really enjoyed her, her, um, her books. Um, this one says, You fell in love with the victors of the Hunger Games. Now prepare to meet the villains of the Blood Veil. So, um... In the past, the villainous Lowe's have won nearly every tournament and their champion is prepared to continue his family's reign. But this year, thanks to their newfound notoriety, each of the champions has a means to win, or better yet, a chance to rewrite their story. But this is a story that must be penned in blood. So there's a bit of a, a tournament, a bit of a, a, a trial thing going on, um, and the person expected to win might not win this year. So there is that choice. And last but not least, we have The Final Strife by, who's it by, uh, Sara L. Arifi. Um, this was my star book for last month, you said last year then, for last month, but it didn't get picked, so I thought I would put it on as a choice this month. Do not let that sway your thing if you want to pick one of the other uh, two books. I'm fine reading 
any of these three. So this is again another one with trials. Uh, the Actibar, a set of trials held every 10 years to find the new uh, Ember rulers of the Empire is about to begin. Um, but it says um, Sila, who is destined to win the trials and become the Warden of Strength. Um, she is stolen as an infant and raised by the Duster's heart. Uh, by the Dusters, and then when her adopted family are brutally murdered, those dreams of a better future for all turn to dust. Um, but she wasn't made to sparkle, she was born to burn, and as the trials draw near, it's time for her to decide, will she rule the Empire or destroy it? I did mutter my way through that, but I hope you got the gist of it. So those are your three choices. The Final Strife by Sarah L. Arifi. All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman or Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. Uh, they're all similar sizes. I guess the last one, uh, the final strife, is probably um, the longest. But yeah, those are your three choices. Uh, pick wisely. Um, if you haven't read any of these three, which one sounds most interesting to you, basically? And um, I will leave it for as long as possible um before i make my choice um from your your choices your suggestions so that is that one and then our our second prompt from roll number six was a thriller and for that was goodreads choice nominee now i had a look on the goodreads choice nominees for 2022 because obviously 2023 hasn't been decided yet um they will come at the end of the year now i went through all of the thriller um nominees i own not a single one of them and when i looked at what they were all about i had no interest in reading a single one of them so I decided to look at the other categories and the first one that came up was the winner, the winner of the Fiction Goodreads Choice uh, Awards for 2022. And I do own that one. It is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Uh, so you know what? I thought it's a Goodreads Choice nominee and it won. We, I need to get books off my shelves, not be purchasing more books that I'm not even particularly interested in. So I'm going there. It should fill the thriller thing, but, you know, we'll go with it. Uh, so this one says, um, this is not a romance, but it is about love. Uh, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow takes us on a dazzling imaginative quest as it examines the nature of identity, creativity, disability, failure, the redemptive possibilities in play, and above all, our need to connect, to be loved and to love. Uh, so, yes, I am going to be reading this one. Um, as I say, I do kind of need to be prioritising books that are already on my shelves rather than going out and purchasing new books, considering the fact that I'm supposed to be on a book buying ban for June. So kind of went against the wishes of that. It's my game, my rules, I'll play it how I like. And I want to play it like this. <laughs> and um, roll number seven. I nearly grabbed a card then, I don't need a card. We landed on the ebook space. So for the ebook, I am going to be reading... Uh, the Best Friend Bargain. Let me pull it up, see if my phone hasn't died on me already. It's on red. Okay, so we have, I don't know if you can see it there, The Best Friend Bargain by Crystal Caswell. And I believe this is a book that, um, he's a best friend, I suppose. Um, I need to bring it up. Okay. So it says, two best friends, one fake relationship equals big trouble. Uh, everyone sees me as a brooding tattoo artist with a chip on my shoulder. Everyone except my best friend, Sky. Smart, sassy, gorgeous, a curvy bombshell. So she's going to be plus size, hopefully. Uh, not that I picture her naked. 
often. It's platonic, I swear, until she asked me to play her date at her cousin's wedding. It's a simple ruse, a few lies to keep our families off our backs. We pose for photos, write a fake history, but when we kiss, our chemistry is real and it's combustible. A taste isn't enough. Platonic isn't enough. I want Sky as my everything, but can I really risk losing my best friend? So it's best friends, two lovers, um, fake dating, all of those things. Yes, yes, tick, tick, tick. So I will be reading that one for uh, roll number seven. And last but not least, roll number eight, One Piece Got Home. So we again only have the one prompt left. And that was a contemporary. And we had a random number generator. So I will insert here the clip of me doing that. Okay, so apparently I have 63, um, or I've had 63 contemporaries. Of course, if I've already read the, the book at the number that I have uh, rolled, then I will just go to the next one on the list. So let's randomise number 41. So if we look at the book, number 41 is The Burning. I have read that one. So the next one is Eliza and Her Monsters. I have not read that one. So Eliza and Her Monsters it is. As you can see, I landed on this book, Eliza and Her Monsters. Well, I didn't land on it, but it was the next one on the list that I hadn't read from the... Anyway, you saw what happened. Um, so this is by Francesca Zapia. Um, I believe that this is kind of um, mixed media because it does have some like text messages and stuff. And I think it has some, if I'm right, somewhere. Yes some comic strips because I believe it says um, in the real world Eliza Merck is shy, weird and friendless. Online she's Lady Constellation, the anonymous creator of the wildly popular webcomic Monstrous Sea. Then Wallace Warland, Monstrous Sea's biggest fan fiction writer, transfers to her school and draws her into a life offline she never could have imagined. But when Eliza's secret is accidentally shared with the world, everything she's built, her story, her relationship with Wallace, and even her sanity begins to fall apart. I do believe this has some mental health rep in it. Now, as you know, I suffer with mental illness myself. Um, I've just come off like a real bad stint um, myself. Um, so I am going to say that I will read this um, as much as I can. Um, obviously... Um, if my mental health gets to a point where I can't deal with this, then I may try and pick up something else um, to replace it. I don't know. Um, I have plenty of contemporaries I can pick up um, instead, but I will give this a go. Um, she's chonker, but I feel like with that mixed media, um, it, she should be quite easy to... Oh, she's not too bad. She's 385 pages just thick paper I suppose um but yeah so we shall see with that one I we will see so that is it that is my June TBR for uh for for next month um are there any books on this TBR that you would like to buddy read um or are there any that have interested you and you're adding to your tbr for the foreseeable future let me know which of the three you would like me to choose from that was vespertine by margaret owen all of his villains by the duo authors and the final strife uh, by sarah l arifi which of those three would you like to see me pick up this month um but leave those answers in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.